Hello, welcome. In today's class, we'll be talking about ultrasonic sensors. What is an ultrasonic sensor? An ultrasonic sensor is a device that uses ultrasonic waves to detect an object or to measure the distance between itself and the object. They use sound waves that are very high, higher than the sound waves available for human beings. So that's why it is called ultra, that means very high. How does the ultrasonic sensor work? Basically what we have here, an example is the HCSRO4 ultrasonic sensor, which is common for many Arduino projects. The ultrasonic sensor has two parts. One is the transmitter and the other one is the receiver. The transmitter will emit sound waves at a particular frequency. And when this hits an obstacle, it bounces back and is received by the receiver. So how do we calculate the distance between the ultrasonic sensor and the obstacle, the object? So this distance between the ultrasonic sensor and the object in physics, we say the velocity is equal to distance all over time. That means distance is equal to speed, which is velocity, times the time. In this case, we are working with the speed of sound. The speed of sound is equal to 0 0.034. And then the time, in this case, the sound will travel to and fro. That means the sound will travel twice. So we have time will be divided by two that means indirectly we can say if i want to calculate the distance the distance is equal to 0 0.017 times the time this is the formula this 0 0.017 is 0 0.034 divided by 2. for this particular model of the ultrasonic sensor the hc sro04 you can see we have this point which is the transmitter and we have this other one, the arrow, which is the receiver. Secondly, we have four pins. We have the VCC, we have the trig, we have the echo, and then we have the ground. The VCC powers the ultrasonic sensor, typically with five volts. The trig is what gets the electrical signal from the Arduino and sends it to the transmitter. The echo is what receives the sound waves from the receiver and then sends it back to the Arduino, then the ground is connected to the ground of the Arduino. Having this understanding, we'll look at some projects we can create using this ultrasonic sensor.